Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about logic gates and an introduction about it. Logic gate is a circuit block that usually have two inputs and single output. The output turns on just when the inputs has a certain conditions. There are 8 types of logic gates, today I talk about them, but before I explain them, I designed a PCB board to make it easier to understand how logic gates works. After completing the PCB layout, I go to PCBWay.com. Click on code and order and insert your PCB size and the quantity. You can also select the color of the PCB. In this case, I choose the black color. Then click on add to card then upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After about two months, I received my package. Then I soldered in all the components on the PCB. Now we have an educational PCB board to make it easier to understand how logic gates works. The first gate I want to talk about is AND gate. This table calls a truth table, show you under which conditions the output turns on. The AND gate output turns on just when the A and B inputs become high or 1. In digital electronics, 1 refers to turns on and 0 refers to turns off. In this circuit, I used IC4081 as AND gate. This resistor calls pull down resistor. You have to use this resistor for inputs of any logic gate to make sure the voltage on the inputs is zero before pushing the switch. The gate number two calls OR gate. In this gate, the output turns on either output A or output B is 1. I used IC4071 as OR gate. The gate number 3 calls NAND gate. The NAND gate output is ON and turns off just when the both inputs become high. I used IC4011 as NAND gate. The gate number 4 calls NOT gate. In this gate, the output turns on when the input is 0. So the output is opposite of the input. For this reason, it calls NOT gate. For NOT gate, I also used the IC4011 by jumping the inputs together. Gate number 5 calls buffer. The output is the same as the input. In electronics, we use buffer when we have a weak signal and we can't connecting that signal directly to the load. I used AND gate as a buffer after jumping the inputs together. The gate number 6 calls NOR gate. The output of NOR gate is on when both inputs are zero and turns off when either input A or input B or both of them become one. I make it by adding NOT gate in the output of OR gate. The gate number seven calls XOR gate. The output of this gate turns on when the inputs has different signal. But when both of them are zero or both of them are one, the output turns off. For XOR gate, I used IC4030. And finally, gate number eight calls XNOR gate. 
in this gate the output turns on when the inputs has the same signal both zero or both on I make it by adding a NOT gate in the output of XOR gate as always I put the Gerber file and the circuit diagram in the description of this video thanks for watching